All right, I've given myself the challenge of providing 10 really good marketing tips in under 10 minutes. And I wanted to do this in a way that was going to be as helpful as possible to the broadest audience as possible. So I'm keeping in mind both the do-it-yourselfers and businesses who still want to outsource their marketing but maybe need a little direction in terms of what kind of agency they should be looking for or what kind of things to consider before they get started. And I'm going to do this 3 by 3 plus 1. By that I mean I'm going to talk about three different platforms, three tips each, plus one overarching tip that I think is pretty important to discuss. So let's start there with that one overarching tip number one, which is this. Be weary of marketers who are selling you a one-size-fits-all, this is all you need to explode your business, grow exponentially, earn millions of dollars. I call bull on that. And I'm probably going to upset a few marketers in saying that, but let's be realistic. No two businesses are alike. No two businesses should promote themselves in the exact same way. If that were true, then every single business would be using that one solution. All right, let's get into the platforms, and I'm going to talk about Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Let's start with Facebook. Tip number one is this. Use your tracking pixel. Now, that might be a little basic for anybody who's already got experience with Facebook advertising, but it's still a pretty common mistake for people to just boost a post, and then they end up a little disappointed with the results. Your tracking pixel is just a number, it's a little line of code that you put on your web pages and that allows you and Facebook to track the audience that's responding to your ads. And it allows them to get better insights into which members of that audience are converting on the actions that you want them to convert for. Which brings me to tip number two, use conversion campaigns. See that's the other problem with just boosting posts is that the default campaign for a boosted post is a page post engagement campaign. In other words, Facebook is just looking for people who are likely to engage with your ad. So people who are going to like, share, or comment. But it's not looking for people who are going to convert for the action that you want them to take, such as buy something online or become a lead. My next tip for Facebook is to use rapid fire testing. Now, rapid fire testing means use different variations of images and text. Don't just come up with one ad that you think is going to be the killer. We've often experienced that sometimes the image that we think is going to work best actually works worst, and the image that we think has nothing to do with what we're trying to promote serves really well. Same with the language. So mix and match those and test for about a week or two and see what performs best and then go with that. So now let's talk about YouTube. And when I talk about YouTube, I'm also sort of talking about Google because Google owns YouTube. My first tip is to post videos as live events. And the reason why I say all of this is because Google is giving live videos deferential treatment on their search engine. In other words, it's allowing live videos to sort of jump the queue as to where they appear for a given search. Now, some people think that a live event on YouTube is actually live, but that's not true. You can pre-record your video, you can edit your video. All you need to do is search online for how to set up your account for live events, which is very easy, and find one of many software that's available to allow you to broadcast your videos live, and then they will rank better. That brings me to tip number two. Another way to rank your videos better is to use long tail titles. It's a very common mistake for people to use very short, concise titles, thinking that if that matches something that somebody might type in in a search phrase as a short search, that it's more likely to appear. But you're actually going to appear much better if you have more of your keywords in your title. And something that you can do there is search for your short search phrase that you're looking for, see what other videos come up, and then try to use some of that language if it's applicable to your video in your title. And that brings me to tip number three, which is using all of that language, all of your keywords, all of your tags in your description. Very few people are likely to click the more button under those top three lines that appear under your video. And for sure, in the top section, you should put your real links and your real description about your video. But under that, you can put all kinds of language. It allows for a lot of space and a lot of terms that you can throw in there. So 
put all your keywords. And again, look at some of the other competing videos in that search phrase that you're looking for and see if there's other language that you can include in your description. And again, that will help you rank better and hold your rank over time because it'll create commonality between those other high ranking videos. All right, so let's talk about LinkedIn, and I'm gonna dive right in with tip number one, which is this. Stop treating LinkedIn like it's just an online resume. Maybe LinkedIn used to only be a job website, but I would argue that it's evolved into a growth platform. And if anybody wants your resume, they can simply ask you to send them your resume. And you can upload your resume to LinkedIn. So instead of just listing your job titles, experiences, and accomplishments, be sure to tell people what they can expect if they are to hire you or to buy your products or services. So for example, in that little headline under your name, be sure to write a concise sentence that helps people understand what to expect if they are to engage with you. And that's going to appear everywhere where you write something. Which brings me to tip number two, which is this, create content. Whether it's simple posts or writing articles, or I would recommend using LinkedIn video. It's a great way for people to get to know you, and it's fair to say that LinkedIn is giving preference to LinkedIn videos, which hasn't really been around for that long. And if you're to follow tip number two, then tip number three is this, create or join an engagement pod. In other words, find a group of people with like-minded interests or people in your industry and create a group thread so that every time you or one of them creates content, you can share the link and support each other and leverage each other's networks. That's 10 tips in under 10 minutes. Thanks.